Hey guys, welcome back to Life Above the Clouds. My name is Lauren Gaw, and today we're making banana cream cookie sandwiches, which are gonna be two vanilla wafer cookies with banana whipped cream sandwiched in between. So we have one and one third cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one egg, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, three quarter teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of butter, and I am substituting one tablespoon of cannabis butter. We are making 24 cookies, which means 12 cookie sandwiches, and I like to do one tablespoon of cannabis butter per 12 servings. I already have the oven preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to whisk together our dry ingredients. So in our bowl, we are going to add our flour, our baking powder, and our salt. Just going to whisk this together because we want it to be nice and combined. Now we're gonna set this aside and in another bowl, we are going to beat together our butters and our sugars and I am going to beat that together with my hand mixer. This is a very important step because we want our cannabis butter to be really well blended in. And now we are going to add our egg. We're also gonna add our vanilla extract. Well, I'm going to add in my flour mixture and we're gonna beat this together. And remember not to over mix. And then I'm going to use my spatula to finish. I have a cookie sheet right here prepared with a silicone baking mat. You can also use parchment paper. This is a one and a half tablespoon scoop. Scoop them out about two inches apart. They are going to spread a little bit in the oven. Here are my cookies. They're going into the oven for 12 to 14 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. For our banana whipped cream, this is a one half cup of heavy whipping cream, one quarter cup of powdered sugar and also two small bananas and they're very very ripe nice and brown Ooh, i just knocked off the little butt end of this which means they are ready to be used we're going to whip up this heavy whipping cream we're going to make nice stiff peaks so be patient this does take a minute our whipped cream is thickening up a little bit so i'm going to add in our powdered sugar this is looking now I am going to mash up our bananas. We have our bananas in our bowl. I'm just gonna use a fork and mash it up. We want it to be very, very mashed. So now I'm just gonna fold in the bananas into our whipped cream until it's nice and combined. Here is our lovely whipped cream. Our cookies are still in the oven and then you also want to wait till they cool completely before you add the whipped cream. If you've seen on the channel before, when we don't wait to frost our cupcakes and things like that, the frosting immediately melts. But lucky for us, I have made a batch of cookies already. I am going to get another scoop. I have a second one of these scoops. It's the same size scoop as I use for the cookies and I think that it's the perfect ratio of adding filling. We wanna match up our cookies so that they're the same shape. Sometimes when they cook, they cook unevenly and they're oblong or whatever. So I like to look at them and say like, okay, these two are pretty, pretty much the same shape. So now we're just going to use our scoop and then put a nice little dollop of whipped cream inside and then sandwich it up. Kind of smush it down, smush the whipped cream over to the edges of the cookie. And we have a beautiful cookie sandwich. Now, these are best served chilled. So I would put these back into the refrigerator because the whipped cream is soft. And a little fun tip, these are fantastic frozen also. We've got two beautiful vanilla cookies sandwiched with some banana whipped cream inside. Mmm, it's so good. But these are nice and crispy. The banana whipped cream is just a little bit sweet. If you guys love banana cream pie, banana pudding, yeah, this is a good cookie sandwich. I love it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We made banana cream cookie sandwiches. 
If you haven't already, please go subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. And if you guys ever want to send over a cup of sugar or a bag of flour, go check out my Patreon page. I have two new patrons, so thank you guys for joining my Patreon family. There are links in the description section below as well as links to my social media. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and are safe and healthy, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.